So having students work with plants and growing plants in school is a really great way to get them connected to the environment and creating a self-watering plant system uh, is a really cool way to kind of connect the micro bit and uh, program it to control things like a water pump. So in today's challenge, we're going to be using the Inksmith Climate Action Kit for land. And the reason why is this little micro bit here, as awesome as it is, uh, doesn't quite have enough power to power things like this water pump. Um, so because of that, we're going to use this thing right here. It is their breakout board. And basically, you may recall seeing in an earlier tutorial, there are like 22 pins down here to connect additional things to. And it's sometimes really hard to get to some of these pins. So what we're going to do by using this breakout board or edge connector, it's sometimes called, we can pop this in here and it basically makes it easier to get some of these pins. These things in here connect to these little connectors around the side. So our zero pin is going, we're going to be using some of the pins over here uh, to connect to one thing. And we're also going to be running the water pump off of a uh, motor area that gives um, additional power. Okay, so here's how we're going to get started. Um, we're going to need uh, a water source. We're going to need a water pump with the tubing. Um, and we're going to put that in the water. Now, the other end, in theory, once you've got it running, is going to um, go into a real plant. But for now, we're just going to put it into another container just to make sure that it works. Okay, now we have to connect this water pump um, we need to connect it to our breakout board, okay? So this kit comes with some alligator clips that have clips on one side, but then small little connectors over here that connect to the positive and negative sides of this water pump. So when we know the proper, um, the proper ones to connect into for positive and negative, that lines up with positive and negative on uh, the motor area here, we can use the red, which is positive, and connect it in here. And we can use the black, which is negative, to connect over here. So in our first challenge, what we're going to do is set up a system whereby when we press the A button, is going to run this water pump. You can see there's two little motor areas on this breakout board on the left and on the right. So we're going to use the right motor for a few seconds to just run this water pump for a few seconds. Okay, that'll be our first level of challenge. After that, we're going to try to get things a little more challenging. This kit comes with a moisture sensor that also has three of these little prongs that connect to our breakout board, it can detect how much moisture is in some soil. So I've got some really dry soil here. So we'll be able to put this in the soil. And when it detects very dry soil, it's going to run the pump. So it'll kind of be automatic. But that'll be coming a little bit later. So let's head over to our make code editor and first write our code. Okay, so I'm on makecode.microbit.org and I'm going to choose a new project and I can call it plant watering system. So one of the things that happens when you buy some of these kits that go with microbits, like the, um, like the climate action kit, is that these manufacturers will often create their own coding blocks to help you get started. And Inksmith has done that for us. So what we're going to need to do in our make code editor is we're going to need to install the Inksmith Climate Action Kit for land uh, coding blocks. So to do that, we're going to go into the advanced and right down at the very bottom, we're going to go to extensions. There are dozens and dozens of extension kits. You can see there are so many kits made for the micro bit around the world. I'm going to type in Ink Smith. You could type in Climate Action Kit. There's lots of things you could type in. They've got a couple here. They even have one for a little robot called Kate. 
but I'm going to choose Climate Action Kit for land. Okay, and in a few moments, what will happen is these coding blocks will come in. Aha, and there you'll see them. There are some new ones. Pump, motor, soil, servos, touch. Those are additional ones that Inksmith has created for us. So what we're going to do is first look for our input of our A button. You may remember this from a previous tutorial. We'll just drag that out there. So our on button A pressed. And then we're simply going to go to the pump category. And we've got a whole bunch of options here, but I'm going to choose this one. Run this pump at a certain speed for a certain number of section, seconds. Now notice it's seeing the left pump and what you saw a bit earlier was that we connected to the right. So we can go into here and change it from left to right. Now this, uh, you may recall in, a, in the LEDs tutorial, it was a state of one or zero for on or off. This one goes from zero up to 100. So I'm gonna maybe put it up to 80. You can adjust that and see the different things. And let's say, let's run this for maybe four seconds, okay? So on button A press, we're gonna run the right pump at a speed of 80 for four seconds. Great, and that should just work. Now, here's an interesting thing to note about this breakout board. You can pop this micro bit in and it will run off of this back cable here, uh, the power source, and, and that will also power the motors and things, but it won't download the code through the breakout board. So we're gonna have to disconnect this, connect it into our micro bit, and we're going to have to hit the download button. And it's downloaded, great. So now I can just disconnect the power from my micro bit. I can pop this thing into back into power my breakout board, make sure it's turned on. And now when I pop my micro bit in this breakout board, you can just see it fits nice and snugly in there. You can see the red lights on the back. So that worked, it's powered on. And let's see what happens when we press the A button. Oh, can you hear that? You can see water coming in here. So I'm gonna push A again. The motor is running and it's pop, pumping water right into there for a few seconds. So it works, excellent. All right, let's take this to a new level of challenge. If we want something that can detect the soil moisture level, at all times, forever. And then whenever it's super dry, let's pump some water in, okay? So first let's connect our, um, let's connect to our three prongs here. We'll connect into the three little areas of this particular thing. Moisture sensor. Okay, now on here I've got three different connections. I've got an S for source, I've got a positive and a negative. The source is going to be the zero pin, okay? So my yellow, I'm going to pop into, I'm gonna connect over here to my zero pin. And it is right here, just kinda of on the left side, just at the bottom. Now, the positive is the power. So on mine, I've got orange on positive, so I'm gonna connect that to the power just next to the, um, the zero pin. And the other one, the negative is our ground. So there we are. I've got it connected now. You can see that this moisture sensor is powered on. I'm gonna pop it in the dirt and let's see what happens. Now, instead of, back to our code editor, let's see what we have to do now. Okay, so this time we don't want it on uh, button A pressed. Um, what we want is we want a forever loop, okay? And then from our forever loop, we're gonna go into the soil. Uh, and we have a button in here, moisture level, pin P0 is very wet. 
So let's get some logic in here. And what we're going to use is the if else block for this. I'm going to pop that into the forever. So if, what do we want to be true? If the moisture level is dry. So let's go back to soil. And you see right in here where it says if true, it's kind of got these pointy triangular shapes on the side. We can go into soil and see how that matches up there. So we're going to replace true with this statement. So now it says if moisture level at pin P0 is very wet. All right, so if it's very wet, what do we want to happen? Well, maybe nothing. Maybe we make it a nice little symbol like a heart or a smile. So we can show the icon of like a smile if it's, and if it's not very wet, then we actually want to make it wet, don't we? So if we want, we can just basically take this out of the pin, a button A, and we can run that pump. All right. So that is our code. Now, could we show something else with that when it runs the water pump to kind of fancy it up a little bit? Sure, we could. We could show an icon. Like there is uh, an umbrella in here. So we could show that umbrella icon. It runs the right pump for four seconds. And then maybe we... After that, after it runs it, we can clear this screen, okay? So the what you do with the screen is completely optional, but here are the types of things that as you start to create your programs, you can think about little kind of upgrades. It doesn't matter if I leave this on button A on the screen or not. I can just garbage it, but I can leave it there. So now, once again, our process, we're going to download it to the micro bit. So I'm going to turn off my power, unplug that, get it into my micro bit, and I'm going to download my code. But let's make sure, just make sure we are connected uh, to the device. So we're going to go connect device. There's our micro bit. We'll connect. We're connected. And let's hit the download button. Great, so we've downloaded it. So let's turn the power off for a moment. And I'm going to just pop this into the power. All right, oh, look at that. If you can hear that, it is running the pump. It is sensing that the moisture level is dry. There's our little umbrella symbol, and you can see the water running through this tube into the jar as it sucks water through the pump. And it'll keep doing that until the moisture level in that soil is no longer very dry. So that's as easy as it is. It's a fun activity to do with students. Again, uh, the Climate Action Kit makes it really easy. Not only does it come with all of this stuff, it comes with additional things like a motor and uh, some other sensors, a little servo which can turn uh, in specific directions you code it to. Um, and there are several lessons that come with it for cool projects. So getting students involved in uh, plant growth, using the micro bit and some connectors like the Inksmit Inksmith Climate Action Kit is a really great, great way to get started. Have fun. 